looks like Tiana Taylor secretly filed for divorce back in January from Amon Schumpert. And what she's saying in this divorce will probably shock you because it's the complete opposite of what she said back in September about their separation being amicable. Tiana Taylor just exposed her serial cheating, soon to be ex-husband Iman Shumpert for being a narcissist who mentally abused her during their seven year marriage. Tiana Taylor wasn't being completely honest when she spoke about her separation earlier because not only did she just expose Iman for being a b but she confirmed the rumors about him being a serial cheater. Even though she initially tried to deny that infidelity played a role in their separation. And honey, this is just the tip of the iceberg. But him being an abuse and a narcissist was definitely not on my bingo card. Okay, so according to court documents obtained by TMZ, Tayana secretly filed the divorce over a year ago, claiming Iman has been a jealous narcissist during their seven-year marriage. She wanted to keep everything private, but she was forced to speak about it publicly after the documents were leaked. In the court filings, Tayana slammed Iman for being jealous of her fame and feeling insecure about not being good enough for her, despite the fact that he was earning way way more playing basketball than she could ever dream of making in music. She revealed that back in 2015, he signed a $40 million contract with NBA's Cleveland Cavaliers. And in the same year, he was also paid $8 million by the New York Knicks. But he couldn't even bring himself to celebrate his wins because he was still mad salty about her being more famous than he was. Can y'all believe this? This man was raking in more cash than Tayana could ever dream of, but he was still being a crybaby because he wasn't as famous as she was? If this isn't the perfect depiction of a narcissist, then I don't know what is. Tayana has also said Iman would throw tantrums and verbally abuse her every time they attended public events together because photographers would ask him to step out of frame so they could take solo shots of her. She said she began to intentionally dim her light for Iman because he became more and more angry about her stardom. She even had to start turning down recording opportunities and acting gigs because Iman did not want her to work. But get this, right after she stopped working to please him, he turned around and complained about her not making money. This man is unhinged y'all. His behavior got worse after his career in the NBA started to tank. She said she used her connections to get Iman gigs in Hollywood as his NBA career wound down. But that only pissed him off more. She also exposed him for crashing her Rolls Royce and abandoning the car on the streets because he didn't want to be arrested for DUI. As if this wasn't bad enough, he was also cheating on her with other women. Now, some of y'all might not know this, but this isn't the first time Tayana has separated from Iman. In fact, back in September, rumors started making rounds on social media that she and Iman were getting a divorce because he was cheating on her. But she immediately shut the rumors down. She posted a photo of her and Iman to her IG with a lengthy caption, basically confirming that they were separated, but it had nothing to do with him cheating on her. She said, not too much on my bestie. In all fairness, Iman and I are separated and have been for a while. To be 1000% clear, infidelity ain't one of the reasons for our departure. Now, I don't know if she denied the cheating allegation because she was embarrassed or something, but it's safe to say she was lying because she confirmed in her recent divorce filing that cheating definitely played a role in her dumping him. She revealed that she actually started the divorce process in 2021, but Iman manipulated her into withdrawing the filing just one day later so they could work on their marriage. But just a few months later, he was caught up in multiple cheating scandals, which left her feeling embarrassed and humiliated. But are we really surprised? Iman is notorious for being a serial cheat, and he has actually been cheating on Tayana since the start of their relationship. For example, back in 2016, Iman was accused of cheating on Tayana after a woman posted receipts seats of her and Iman messing around behind Tayana's back for three years. The woman said Iman hit her up on IG and told her to meet up with him in a hotel so they could do the nasty. But when she got there, he was with his teammate Kyrie Irving and they demanded a threesome. When she refused, teammate Kyrie snatched her phone from her and threw it at the back of her head while she was walking away. Iman later admitted to the allegations but told people to stop dragging Tayana for his mistakes because he did all these things when he was young. I was young, I was selfish. 
I've broken hearts and been insensitive to them. I never really cared what the internet said of me until now, and it's not because they're antagonizing me. They are now directing hate toward a woman that gives off nothing but positive energy and deserves nothing more than the world that I vowed to give her. But see, the cheating allegations didn't just end there, because in 2018, the allegations came right back when Drake was exposed for hiding his child, Adonis, with the former porn star, Sophie. Around this time, there were reports of Sophie not being sure who the baby daddy was because she was messing with ASAP Rocky, James Harden, and Iman. But as usual, he denied the rumors. And just a few months later, rumors started making rounds on social media of Iman and Tayana having a threesome with an adult star, Ali Rides, and even getting her pregnant. Tayana ran to Twitter to deny the rumors in a tweet that read, I have never seen slash touched that girl in my life. Iman also ranted in an explosive IG post that read, Albie is my friend and I'm not gonna apologize for putting heart eyes under her picture as seeing my wife go through a pregnancy and blossom in motherhood, I can't help but to admire and enjoy every part of that process through IG to any woman I scroll past in that energy. What made things even worse is that Tayana had admitted prior to this that she and Iman had engaged in multiple threesomes in the marriage and that she is the one who usually initiates them. I think that's that's the mix up. You know what I'm saying? People hear it and think that it's like a thing where it's like every day we just taking bitches down. Like that's that's not that. It just be those times where like we just like if we on vacation, mm. like our anniversary, like you know what I'm saying? Like it's just certain times where like, you know, like in the beginning I I I wanted to try it. Like I said, I'm Dora the Explorer. Mm. Like Bob backpack shorts t shirt like yeah. That's like, not I'm, what Dora's about. I know that's not what Dora's about, and I feel I mean, so she, bad. Well, fans are now saying that she might have been initiating the threesomes because Iman convinced her to. People speculate that she probably got tired of him cheating and decided to let him bring other people in the bedroom just to please him. After all, she did say in her divorce filing that she was willing to do anything to keep their marriage. Anyway, this wasn't the last cheating allegation. As if this wasn't bad enough, Iman was put on blast for cheating on Tayana for the one millionth time when the neighborhood talked posted the IG stories of one of Iman's side chicks wearing his chain. There was another video of her chilling in the car with Iman's voice in the background. Then she uploaded another video of her being all booed up with Iman. So as y'all can see, Iman has been swinging it in these here streets for a while and Tayana has had enough. On top of all this BS, he was mentally a her at home and making her feel like she is the problem when it's actually him. People were not here for this and they took to social media to cook him. One person said, so all this time we thought Tayana Taylor was retiring and the whole time she was just turning down gigs because Iman was being a hating ass loser about her growing fame. These men are so pathetic. Another person said, why I hear Iman Shumpert being emotionally and mentally a b Tayana Taylor being narcissistic and jealous of her. Men really aren't sh OMG, he fooled me. But now I want to know your thoughts. How do you feel about Tayana putting Iman on blast for cheating and abusing her? And do you think this is really the end of their marriage? Or will she pull back the divorce process and go back to him like she did the first time? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And don't forget to click here to watch this other messy video.